Hello and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is a beer tasting one and what I've got today is a 104 degree from Lime Regis Brewery. Um, I got this uh, late last year when I was down in uh, Dorset and uh, it's just been in the fridge and I've not really had a chance to, well, to drink it to be honest. It's just uh, forgotten about it in the back of the fridge so I've seen it before. I enjoyed their uh, Steady, Steady one. It's like a New England IPA. Um, I've done a video so that's it'll be on the list. So I really enjoyed that and then I forgot I had their Session Pale. Uh, this is a 4.2% Session Pale. Plus I've got the actual uh, Lovely glass there, Lime Regis Brewery glass. Let's get the beer in the uh, glass then. Let's see what we've got. Let's hope it's not too lively. No, looking good. Okay. So yeah, it's looking really, really pale. Really light coloured, really light straw colour. Not picking up any aromas as yet from, from here. There's a beer in the glass. Nice, solid white cap on that. Medium carbonation. It's looking good. So it looks really good in the glass. Oh, let's turn it around so we've got the sign. In the line reaches glass there. Looks fantastic. So, like I say, nice carbonation, nice uh, cap. Just sticking around. Um, no aroma from distance. I've got a slight bit of a cold coming on, I think. So, don't know if that's going to affect this. Might be a bit unfair. Anyway, let's have a swirl. Let's go in for those. Oranges. Definitely oranges. That's what I'm getting off that. Sweetness, sweet orange. Slight bit of grapefruit there as well. Citrus, I was getting citrus tones off that all day long. Citrus, maybe a little bit of tropical vibes, but if it's there, it's really, really subtle. Uh, the citrus is more powerful. Smells really good, smells like really inviting. Looks really good. What is that? A 440 can? Yeah, 440 can, 4.2%. So taste. Okay, so it's got a bitterness. It's got a nice bitterness, which is going right across the palate, right to the back. And it's staying, along with grapefruit. Um, tad, a tad bit of pine there as well, which is staying in a bit, bit woody, earthy flavour. Um, I don't know if there's any English hops been used in this, but that's got like an English hop vibe when it's got that earthy woodiness as well orange is the main thing i wouldn't i've not looked i've not read this but probably get this wrong because i always do when i'm doing these but it's like amarillo's there or something cascade amarillo that type of uh flavor and aroma um yeah not getting any tropical uh flavors it's all citrus earthiness and um, there's nice bitterness that's gone now. Go back in again. It's a really nice beer, that. Um, yeah, it's, it's got long lasting flavour, which is good. The bitterness is there, it's, it's still there now, I can still get that bitterness. So it's not disappearing, which is really good, which I enjoy in a beer. If I get out of the beer, it feels like it's, it's got some quality to it. So yeah, so mainly citrus flavours, a little bit of pine, a bit of earthiness, a bit, bit of woodiness there as well. That's it's not a bad beer. It's not a bad beer. Let me have a read of the can, see what it says on the can. <clears throat> okay, so 104 degrees is the bearing you take as you set sail from the Cobb Harbour in Lyme Regis. 
this hazy session pale. I wouldn't say hazy, really. I'd say it's fairly clear. You know, straw coloured. It's not ultra clear or anything like that, but it's. I can put it this way, I can see my fingers and everything through it, so I won't say hazy. Um, there we go, it uses a blend of Comet, Cascade, Centennial, Chinook and Columbus, so it's all sea hops. Um, so I was wrong about Amarillo, but the Cascade and Centennial, Centennial definitely brings an orange, an orange vibe, vibe, vibe. It's a super, call it Super Cascade really. Uh, Chinook, I can imagine that's where I'm getting that pine, earthy, woodiness from. Um, and Columbus as well. So it's all the sea hops, it's all traditional hops, uh, what you expect to see in the West Coast, uh, like IPAs and pale ales. Um, hops to deliver a light tropical aroma. I said tropical, but I said it was really subtle. So is that what I'm saying? It's light. I was getting more of that uh, citrus, definitely. A beer for the beach, or to reminisce about lime. Yep, uh, ingredients, water, barley, oats, wheat, hops and yeast. 4.2% ABV, 440ml can. And you can visit their tap room, the Town Mill, Lime Regis, which is a cosy little place. It's actually, uh, it's really nice at Lime Regis Brewery. I've been there a couple of times. Um, Honestly, if, you, if you're down that way, it's definitely worth going and have a visit, do traditional brews as well. The bitter's great, the porter's great. They've got a traditional IPA, that's great. And they've started to look at this uh, newer stuff. Like I say, I think the brewery has taken over a few years back and uh, there's a lot of newer beers coming through now, but they're also sticking with the traditional beers. So what would I say then? So that's the Session Pale Ale, 4.2% Lime Regis Brewery, 104 degrees. I would give that a three out of four. For me, um, if I went in to a pub down in Dorset, seen that on uh, tap, I'd definitely have a pint. So yeah, an easy three out of four beer for me. Okay, cheers for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.